In this video, I will be showing you how to send webhooks using key auth. The first part of this video will be showing you how to send Discord webhooks, and the second part will show you how to send normal webhooks and request. So on the webhooks page of key auth, we're just going to click on create webhook. If you enter a name, um, you can use that name, but if you don't, then you'll just be given a random um, value to use for the ID. The webhook endpoint will be the Discord uh, webhook. So on any channel that you want that actually is receiving the webhook, click on edit, integrations, webhooks, and then I'm just going to copy the URL. If you don't have this, just click on new webhook. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. Keep the user agent as whatever you want. By default, it is key auth and you do not need to fill that out. Authenticated. If this is checked, that means the user needs to logged in, needs to be logged in. And if it's unchecked, then the user does not need to be logged in. I do not want my user to be logged in. So I'm going to add that. Then I'm going to go to our documentation under dashboard, click on webhooks, and then I'm just going to copy this entire line of code, go to my code, and I'm going to paste this right here, and then remove everything before the key auth app dot webhook. Now again, I'm only pasting it after the init function because I want it to run as soon as the program starts. Um, if you uh, checked the uh, authenticated checkbox, then you'll want to put it like down here where it says actually like logged in. And again, this really depends on what language you're coding in. Um, so now I'm just going to go back to the dashboard and copy this ID, go to my code, and then just paste that in. Now if I start it, new message, and this is from the actual webhook, uh, 1150 and you know 1151, I guess I'll just do it one more time, just to show that it actually worked. And there it is. Okay, so now that we have that, um, another way that you can um, like edit everything in here just to make it a little bit easier for you you can go to disco hook fill out everything in here and then click on the json data editor then you can just copy everything in here and paste it as the second parameter and that will pass everything in that you need to um, for that webhook so now that i have that i'm just going to go ahead and delete this since i will not be showing you how to make actual requests that are not related to discord um, for this, I will basically be using the, let's see, files, I'll do the upload a new file one. Um, I'm just going to copy this entire link, go back to the dashboard, click on create webhook, and basically same process. Um, in here, I'm going to pass my seller key in here. Now it is important when you are making any request, whether it be from the key auth API um, or any other service that provides an API key that you are putting the API key in this field. Do not actually hard code it into your code because that is less secure and anyone can find that key. If it's in here, no one's going to actually find that key. Um, so my key is in there. And another thing is also the type. If you're using the key auth API, all of our functions are a type. Uh, you got to make sure that the type is in here as well because if someone gets access to your code and they see that the type is in the code, they could change this type upload to type delete or whatever they want to. Um, and that wouldn't be good. Um, the URL, we can keep the and or you can remove the and, doesn't really matter. I'll just remove it. I'm just going to copy that and then I'm going to click on add and then go into my code. I'm just going to paste and URL. Um, in the URL, I'll just do testfile.zip. And then I will, what is this? This one. And I will paste that in there. Um, and then just to show you first, I don't have any files in here. I will just go ahead and start the program. And now go back. Here it is, testfile.zip. And that's pretty much all <clears throat> that you need to know about this. If you have any questions about the Discord side or how to set this normal request, feel free to comment down below and I will get to you when I can. 
And again, I cannot stress enough, make sure that you are keeping the actual type and your seller key or whatever API key you're using for whatever service included in the actual field on the webhooks and not hard coded. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below.